day you guys back out on another fishing trip and the plan was today to come and do some perch fishing and the river I've got to say the river behind me as you can probably tell is looking quite coloured so yeah I've decided to bring out a compact float rod and do some float fishing for the perch inhabitants but we'll see how difficult it's going to be because as I say we had a heavy rain yesterday and it is really really up and coloured today so yeah for a site based feeder such as perch it's not always ideal but um, you know we're getting to that kind of end section of the course season so you know if you're going to make a plan to go fishing you've got to stick with it and go so today I'm just on the pin and um, this is actually a second hand JW Young's purist mark 2 2021 centre pin reel and it would be nice to get a few perch on that but more importantly using a homemade bobber which I made a set of these a few seasons ago I only just using them on this trip now as you can see they are quite a bulky float now I call these the Boddington bobbers because the body is made from a widget which aerates the can of Boddington's bitter so that is the main what the main body is made from what I will do on a later video is I'll show you how I made these these are as I say were made a few seasons ago so they are a little bit rough and ready but as the name would suggest it is a bobber so it's got quite a large surface area you can use very very large baits double log worm no problem on say a size 8 or size 6 hook for perch and on top of that if you wanted to you could use small live baits very nice very cheap and cheerful as I say main stem is made from a wooden skewer Body's made from a Boddington widget out of the can of Boddington's bitter and then it's just coated with a very nice sensible helping of a tangerine orange plastic oak paint so I'm hoping even though the uh, river conditions aren't ideal for perch fishing hoping that this starts bobbing away bob 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 as the name would suggest bobber and um, we get a perch or two today it would be nice what I'm going to just do is target, like I would anyway, areas just off the main flow where you'd expect perch to be waiting to ambush prey fish. I'm going to be fishing lobworms and feeding in a few maggots just to draw the fish into the swim. But yeah, especially with it being so up today and coloured, I'm going to be trying to look for really slack areas on the river. See if I can pick up a few of the perch, but it's going to be tricky I reckon. I mean, I have caught well in the past in flooded conditions, conditions that aren't ideal for perch but I really do think this might be a bit of a tricky one. I did expect the river to be up, but it is quite up and I'm sure it's dropping at the moment. But no, it's not ideal. But hey, as I say, if you don't go, you won't know. And with it being near the end of the season, you know, I think we've got around about 11 or 12 days left. Um, you know, you can't be picky with your days, with your river conditions. And besides anyway, just nice to be out. Anyway, that's the sum of it. Lobworms, maggots, Bollington Bobber, three pound line, centre pin, compact float rod. Let's go and see if we can pick up a few of these sergeants, shall we? Well, as you can probably see behind me, a little bit of a slack area on the other bank. In fact, it would be better to go over the other bank and fish from there. I'm going to try and just cast over and fish that slacker margin, quite pacey on my near margin, and push him through. It's a likely zone as any to pick up a few perch. Some nice tree coverage as well further along here just a pity that we had that heavy rain because that's really pepped the river up and it's really pushing through and rather coloured so it's going to be tricky I think that looks ideal doesn't it over there absolutely spot on breaking the flow as you can see I'm going to bake that up with a few maggots and maybe the next spot downstream and uh, yeah got my paws crossed anyway for a bit of good luck with the old stripies
Just using between five and eight maggots, a little one often, just baiting along this slack. You can see the current's going back on itself. Well, there we go. Not quite what I had in mind. Come out for a perch trip on the perch bobbers and um, get this nicely formed small bream. Good scrap in the flow when it went out from that nice slack. Um, you would expect it though in many ways with it being coloured up that you'd get a few bream about. But yeah, this is actually my first bream that I've ever had from this particular river. So yeah, <laughs> still nice. But if you could tell your perch friends that I would really like a perch or two, that would be great. <laughs> but yeah. Lovely. <laughs> and it is like a bit like a bar of soap, so I'm going to get it slipped back, but that's very welcome. Well, looks like we've got a chum. <laughs> Everything but a perch today, so far. That's the way it goes, eh? Seems like today I'm going to have to go through the cool species in alphabetical order. I've already had bream and now a chub, so that's B and C done. Whether I can get to perch before the end of the trip, I'm not so certain. And the river's dropped about another inch now. But yeah, this is a nice, confident bite. I did think for a moment I was into a decent perch. But yeah, very happy with this. You know I love my chub. But look, I've sent Mr. Bream down there, and now I'm going to send you down there, Mrs. Chevin. And maybe you can have a word with your perch friends. <laughs> I know they're down there. <laughs> but yeah, still happy with this though. Really quite enjoying it actually on the bobbers just to get some idea because I've only really tested them in the kitchen sink. So to actually see how they react on the actual river itself and with a proper bite rather than me just tapping away underneath the float in the kitchen sink. It's just very nice to see. Anyway, let's get this one slipped back, shall we? Lovely condition, long, lean and wiry fight. Well I think it's safe to say that things aren't quite going to plan. 
not that I'm complaining, I'm chubbing a bream and as you can see I haven't really, apart from the other spotlight fish downstream, I haven't really moved much. I'm kind of thinking about moving now as it's coming up to, to a uh, quarter to three and I'm thinking about moving. But at the same time, part of me is wondering if this spot will pick up with perch activity, even though it's been quiet now, what with the other fish being in the slack. And I'm actually wondering if I should actually just stick it out in this one swim, which is quite a bit unlike me. But my gut instinct is actually kind of nudging me and prodding me to suggest that I should maybe stay in this swim. But we'll see. I'll maybe give it another 20 minutes and then move on upstream and try a couple of more areas where it's uh, got undercut bank and it's got a nice bit of slack bank side feature. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! That blue shoe. It's more like it. There we go. Stripey. <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Nice little bite there, bob, 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 tilt, boom, boom. Very nice. Cracky. Well, there we go. That's what I wanted. It's a lovely plump female, two pounds. Look at that, absolutely bristling dorsal. That's from a waterway. And you know I like to do my own little path beating. I doubt it's seen a hook. And it's an absolute gorgeous plump female. Look at those limey colors and those black bars. As I say, two pound. Looks like she's got plenty of bit of spawn there on her as well. Double lobworm and nice to christen the Boddington perch bobber with an actual perch after the bream and the chub. How nice is that? How absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Look at that dorsal. Very, 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 very pleasurable indeed. Oh, lovely. Absolutely corking. Let's get it slipped back. Another little perch. Going a bit. Nice markings as well. Well, there we go. Not quite as large as that tubby mama of two pounds. This one's got a little bit of a torn dorsal by the looks of it. But, yep, nice to have another perch. Same swim. And I'm definitely going to stay here now till the end of the trip because I do feel they are actually going to come on a little bit to have two plus the other fish. I think it's onto a nice little zone anyway. But, yeah, lovely. Nice little... Okay, lovely red fins. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. They don't have to always be big to be beautiful. Always never lose sight of why you enjoy your fishing and how beautiful all the different sizes of fish that you catch really are because that is pure enjoyment right there. Well it's got to that time in the video where it's time to head off home. It's been enjoyable. I was wondering if it was going to pick up a perch or two and yes in the end lovely two pounder plus the chub and bream and that other fish so it's been immensely enjoyable especially on the new centre pin and the Boddington bobber perch floats um, I will show you how to make those from the uh, Boddington widgets in a future video and it's just been very enjoyable granted I haven't been able to show you quite as many swims I've kind of opted to mainly focus on one swim and fish lightly fish a couple of others but I did expect, you know, if I stayed in the one swim, 
with the nice run of slats on the opposite bank and with the back eddy circulation that I would pick up a fish or two with a nice light feed of maggots just as the river fine down and yeah brilliant to get that larger perch absolutely wonderful in fact anyway I hope you've enjoyed the video I am going to head off as speedily as I can because I have actually got a very faithful lady my mum because I don't drive and she's sat waiting in the car for me she's been reading and doing some sewing and you know I show my appreciation as much as possible but sometimes you know I think I could show it a bit more so you know thanks mum thanks for always being supportive and being there for a chump that don't drive such as myself I really really appreciate that anyway um, before we get too sentimental um, hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please do click the like button give it a thumbs up that's immensely appreciated and helps with um, sharing the video to keep the channel you know shared between uh, different social media platforms such as Facebook Twitter Instagram and such uh, if you want to connect with me although I do use Facebook uh, you can connect with me and follow me on Instagram it's fishing for memories that's fishing underscore for underscore memories anyway till next time chaps you take care now Bye-bye.